Yo, welcome artists and our fans. Thank you guys for tuning in to the only spot where we talk to all your favorite Instagram artists about the trade, the tools, and of course, the tips. Today, I'm chatting with Zim. This is episode 101. And uh, yeah, we're featuring the awesome King Gonga. He should be uh, coming in any second now. I uh, just want to say uh, thank you for everybody who made it last week for the 100th episode. Uh, it was a fucking blast, man. Uh, I'm feeling better. I'm already out of that whole COVID thing. So I'm COVID free now, y'all. That's what's up, right? Hold on, let me fix this little camera here. There we go. There it is. And uh, yeah, for sure, man. Uh, we got an awesome show today. I uh, can't wait to talk to the to the homie King Gonga. He's going to be on any second now. Shout out to uh, Tasmaniac. 562 you know what i'm saying on the move 562 as well there we go he's repping and uh yeah man uh that's going on also in the news let's see uh we got uh uh we got mortal kombat coming out pretty soon so that's gonna be awesome uh really quick just shout out to monsters our clan uh you know those are the homies the fam the clan and uh of course make sure you check out live with seven and also check out the guys over at dead and laughing pretty awesome guys uh great news today and i'm gonna tell you at the top of the hour right while we wait for our guests here so uh me and seven we're actually going to be collaborating and we're going to be hosting a show together that is right you heard right uh we're going to be hosting it. That's going to be coming out at the end of the month. And uh, that's going to be with the homie Lost and Creative. So he's going to be the guest on the show. And uh, yeah, dude. Uh, so that's going to be great. Uh, looking forward to that. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know where else I was going with that. But yeah, that's going to be dope. That's uh, Look for that this month sometime. I know uh, next month, I think it's going to be on the 8th. It's going to be one of the Mondays. I'm going to be going live with uh, the homie Dan O'Might. He always does these uh, live sessions as well. Uh, it's not like interviews, but he just draws live, you know. And he always has all these uh, awesome guests. So I'll be on there. Uh, don't know the date by heart right now. But I know it's going to be one of the first Mondays in May. So look forward to that. I'll be posting that shit up as soon as I get more uh, confirmation on uh, on everything, you know? And I'll let you guys know. Right now, let me see if I could go ahead and see where he, where's the gong guy at. He's a little late for his show here. There he is. Bam. You say his name three times and he comes out. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's up. I know I'm looking a little rough on the edges there, but it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. So let's go ahead and get our guest on right now. King Gonga in the house. Let me turn up the volume on here just so I can hear him. What is Damn, face reveal. What up, bro? <laughs> what up, what up? What's good? Not much, man. What is popping, G? Chilling out here. Outside today. That's all. How is it out there, man? It's cold as shit over here. It's cool. It's fresh. Yeah. In the shade, yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, nah, not over here, man. It's cold as a motherfucker, bro. Yeah, that sucks. Bro. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be able to do that, man. And it's supposed to be springtime, dude. There, there's no damn rain. It's all cool, and they're talking. Uh, they're saying that we might get some snow next week, G. Yeah. <laughs> good luck with that, man. <laughs> Thanks, G. It's like good luck, motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, Building igloos and shit in the middle of one <laughs> summer over here. Yeah. No, oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, man, thank you very much, dude, for uh, joining the show, dude. It's, it's been a long time coming. Uh-oh. Did we lose him? No, here he is. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's been a long time coming, G. And uh, if anybody uh, f follows you or follows me, they know that, you know, sometimes we're, we're night birds. So. Mm -hmm. The nightlife. The nightlife. Longa. So, bro, um, let's get started, man. Um, I know everybody wants to know a little bit more about you. I want to find out a little bit more about you, man. And, uh, yeah, some of these questions we might have already talked about, so, you know. Yeah. It's all good. We'll bring it back up. For sure, for sure. So, for starters, man, uh, let us know where you're from. I'm from Cali. SoCal, to be exact. It's all Born and raised. Word, word. Yeah. Uh, as, far as, uh, as far as your art, because that's what we're here for, right? Uh, as yeah. far as your art goes, bro, I mean, uh, let us know about your, your, your art yeah. origins, bro. When, when did you start? What got you into it? Started, fuck, you know, probably the answer everybody gives, you know, from as far as I can remember. Um, you know, I was always around different ways. I might have not noticed it at the time. Um, they had different ways, like my aunt used to make ornaments, you know, or even as far as like, uh, my grandpa or, or family members building stuff or painting stuff, stuff like that. But it's always been around, I'd say. Word. What was, uh, you said your aunt made ornaments and stuff, uh, give or take about how old were you when you like, uh kind of really said to yourself, hey, man, this is something I want to try. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, no, you are okay. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> nah, I'd say like, <laughs> probably like five, bro, six, where it was like, all right, you know, this is fun. Um, but, I, you know, it was, I was a kid. You know, it's fun for any kid. No, for sure. Yeah, man. So it's like you go over to her house, she, you know, pick an ornament you want to paint. They were all blank, uh, you know, ceramic. And then uh, just pick your paints and go wild. Oh. Hold mm -hmm. on. Let me, let me write this uh, thing down here just so we can pin that up. At the bottom here. There it is. I mean, hi, bro. I wish. <laughs> That's all right if you are, man. I don't mind. I just <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're all good in here. No, for sure, man. And and as a uh, as an adult, dude, when 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 did you really start taking it serious? As an adult, seriously, like I'd say, you know, starting off in high school, where it just like just blew up for me. Graph wise, graffiti wise, it, it, you know, not only like seeing it around, but meeting the people writing around. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I, I had a couple art classes that I can before that, but uh, it wasn't until like high school and stuff like that. All right, all right. Yeah. Dope, dope. And if any of you guys are not familiar with uh King Gonga's work here. Um then I suggest y'all familiarize yourself with it. No, nah, but definitely go and check out the page, check out the homies page. Uh can we just find you here on Instagram, dude? Or or, or let the let yeah, yeah. all right. Just Instagram. Uh is where all my stuff is at. Word. Oh yeah, man. And I I got questions, man. As far as the um, your 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 thing, uh, your character goes, man. It, it's very very original. It has a lot of like that graffiti um, aspect to it, you know. So mm -hmm. is is uh, did you you know talk to us about that, man? Well, you know, I think it. Yeah, based off mostly, you know, graffiti, trying to trying to base it off of that and then influenced by, you know, 
everything else, cartoons. Um, so it's evolved, and it will continue evolving as long as I keep drawing. You know, but it's always going to be that character. And what exactly, uh, how would you describe that character, man? Because, uh, I mean, for you, those that haven't seen it, let me go ahead and flip this camera over so y'all could see right quick, man. You. So there it is. What is this? Uh, is your character based on something, homie, or? Uh... Nah, it just it was a you know freestyle, very simple, very like you know easy to f turn around and and flip it onto any other style or or onto any other people's characters. To be honest, yeah, well, that's what's up. Is this supposed to be you? Sometimes it looks like <laughs> <laughs> you know. Some of them, yeah. They go like, oh, shit, yeah. And then um, the color palette, it was just by luck that it, it landed, and I, you know, I was digging it. Let me stop it right there. Now I've been I've stuck with that color palette for about let's say over a year now. All right, there you go, and it, and it and it's awesome, dude. I, that you know, honestly, uh, you kind of like took the the next question out of my head here, bro. But oh shit, <laughs> yeah, yeah. For that color palette, it, it's dope, it's vibrant, and it sticks out. Um, I don't know if uh, you chose colors based on that, or you you kind of said it just happened. How you know how? Yeah. How how so, man? I you know a lot of you. The reason I'm asking is because sometimes when people choose certain colors, there's reasons for it. You know, is there a, a deeper reason reasoning for these colors, or is it just like I like them and boom, they look good? Yeah, I like them. I was um I was looking for stuff to draw from old stuff. Okay. From from old like sketches and going through black books, and I took a picture of this one character I had drawn with those colors. Um. You know, with highlighters and uh, the sharpies and stuff. So when I I took a picture of it and I grabbed the color with the iPad, yeah, um, those were the ones that came up. All right, word. But now it's it's all about me trying to use them every single time. Yeah. Okay, hell yeah, there you go. Yeah. If I ever do do another color colorway or something like that it would have to be on a separate page yay well why is that it just it's become a signature now oh uh, okay but like if you were to ever see those colors you would know that it was mine yeah word yeah oh that's dope hey what's up gutter baby how you doing and everybody else in the show nicholas who else we actually let me just shout out the people that are actually in here uh we got uh Drad Banga, Museum of Designer Toys, shout out, and Gutter Baby in the house as well. Gutter Baby, shout out to everyone, man. For sure, thank y'all for coming. Nope. Um, you know, now, now, now that we kind of get a little, uh, just a little glimpse of uh, King Gonga here, uh, and we're definitely going to get into the name as well. I know we talked about it on some of our chats and stuff, but I just want to let the people know. Um, let's get into some of, some of your favorites, bro. Uh, I call this the little favorite game, you know? A lot of people like to know about artists, so you ready? Yeah. yeah. Man, you just give me, give me your best answer. That's all I need, man. You know, I don't, right. need, I don't need to know why. I just need to know what it is. Um, favorite color. Green. Green. Favorite food? Yeah. Pokey. Who? Pokey. What like is that? sushi. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm not a big sushi fan, so I wouldn't know, G. Um, yeah. Favorite music? Reggae. Reggae. Yeah. Um, favorite or dream car? The Mustang. It's 64. 64? Yeah. Yeah, the boy. Yeah, I love. He likes that power. Um, yeah. 
Favorite artist? Chronix. Chronix. Do you believe in uh, ghosts? Yeah. Do you believe in UFOs? Yeah. Have you ever seen one or the other? Nah. And uh, it last one, bro. If uh, if you were an element of you know like nature, earth, wind, water, fire, which one would you be? Fire. Fire. Yeah. Oh damn. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot right here, man. Fire, bro. That's dope. I think I think I'd be fire as well, man. It uh, yeah. purifies and it cooks the fuck out of everything, right? Yeah, and I mean, even if it's a little fire, I mean, still lit, you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Now, are are you a uh, full time artist? Is this something you do for a living, or do you have like a, a job and then you do this on the side kind of thing? Right now, full time. Oh no. No, just the way the what um life has brought it to at the moment. Word. But yeah, I would I would uh you know work and then get home and and work on my stuff faster. Word. So I, I would work night shift. Just for that. Okay. You know, you work all night, you get home in the morning, and then you have a whole full day of sunlight to work on your stuff. Yeah, for sure. That, that kind of makes sense of why, why, why you're always up at night. Um, yeah. You know, uh, I mean, it, it's not, it's nothing to, like, po uh, poke at or anything because I come from the same place. I used to, uh, I think I worked, like, five years in night shift, G, so... You know, when I went to the daytime, it's like I couldn't fucking sleep. So I was always up, you know, and it makes sense. Yeah. So you can make, you can't get home, you know, at night and then come outside and spray paint or stuff like that. Yeah. So, I mean, a whole full day of sunlight is perfect. So. Yeah. I'm talking about uh, spray spray painting, man. You, you get down or used to? No. I tried it. Tried it? Yeah. But uh, I never followed up with it. Word, word. Yeah. It's dope. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah I, 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 I agree, man. It's, yeah. a, it's a fucking rush. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Right. It, it wasn't um, for me, but the, the movement behind it and, you know, the way it originated... You know, that's the beauty of it. So that's why I'm a big fan. No word. Yeah, that self-expression, man. That's what it's Yeah. Self-expression. Uh-huh. Um, just coming up, you know, when I got into drawing, I would walk through the, the yard. Oh, okay. Every day. And then you would see what's new, what's not, you know, what it would, they were capable of doing with it. Oh, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Or, um, now this is a question, man. Are you, are you official, well, not officially, are you only a digital artist or did you transition from traditional to digital? It was a transition, yeah. Yeah? Okay. From, from, I wouldn't say, well, yeah, traditional to digital, but I was more than just drawing. Okay. You know, Trying to build stuff, trying to, you know, stuff like, you know, it was oh, more than just fine. All right, word, yeah. word. So you're creative, a creative type. Yeah, more like uh, creating than yeah. right now. But... It's like my, my homie, uh, Abe Doing Art. Uh, he, you can find him on Instagram. You know, he's very creative like that, too, where he doesn't just draw. He sculpts. He uh, plays with, like, metal. He fucking yeah, he does it all, man. He's a master of a lot of trades, so it's something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. That's hell yeah, yeah, man. So right now it it just happens to be, you know, digital, digital. But it's really taking a toll. Like I'm really digging it. Word. And yeah. do you find yourself going back to those other art forms? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Um through commissions and through 
um, depends on the mood of that day or, you know, if an idea pops into my head where I want to make this and, you know, for a day or two, I'll be on it. And then at night, I'll be back to digital. No word. I'm digging that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, uh, you mentioned commissions. Uh, do you take commissions? Yeah. You know, just reach out and see if I can work with it, you know. Okay. Or, yeah. I have a couple right now. A couple projects. Oh, yeah? Do you, by any chance, you got a handy on deck somewhere? No, I have a bunch of work sitting in front of me right now, but it, it's just old stuff. I have a commission to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Like that. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. So that says my name. <laughs> That's fucking dope. Yeah. See, that one says, man. You don't know? Yeah, all Lego, you know, all spray painted. Except the black one. Yeah, man, that's, that's dope, G. Yeah, that's what I was saying, like, as a artist, you know, it's a, just creating. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I could see that. Yeah. I'll do this one. I think it's about, I'll show you some layers. It's about like three Legos high. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Gutter Baby says, I fuck with that. Going, that shit is dope. It is fucking dope. Yeah. Man. That's some creative shit right there, man. That's this dope. is where it originated from, though, before the letter. Damn, that's dope. And if any of y'all, if any of y'all haven't seen this, I, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen this man in the past. Cause those letters, man, that's that's sick, dude. I dig that. Yeah. Have you done so, any piece like that in your signature colors? No. Ooh. That, yeah, I, I have a couple of things. To do it with those colors, um, I just need to see if I'm gonna do it in, a, you know, paintbrush, spray can, okay, or whatnot. Uh, Halo says he quits. It's, it's too dope. Nah. <laughs> it is. So it's been, you know, it's been it's been a cool ride, man. This these are like old. These are like 2015. Oh shit. Yeah, like I said, look, you see, like, the layers, you know. Yeah, yeah, I definitely see that, dude. Yeah, the graffiti um, vibe to it. And do, when you gather the Lego pieces, is it, like, sets you buy, or do you go to, like, the Lego store and look for these pieces? What's your process for something like that, dude? Uh, Swami. Okay. I got a, I got a plug. At the, ah, it's the I got a Lego plug. Hell yeah. Nice. So it's, uh, I don't know about it anymore through, but because of the COVID stuff, but yeah. I would go and it was like seven bucks for a plastic bag, all random. Okay. It's cheap. Like that's dirt cheap for Lego. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. I know all about it, dude. I got lucky a couple of times where I went. To her, and she had like Ziploc bags full of just one color. Okay. Yeah. Damn. That, I mean, I jumped on those right away. I haven't done any of these in about, I'd say, like three years. Man. But I'm pretty sure if you would do something like that, especially in your, uh, in your, uh, in your colors, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, that that that'd be hot, dude. Them bitches yeah. fly off the shelf. It, it was crazy. It's crazy because um, it wouldn't. It it wasn't working in my favor at the beginning. It was a lot of trials. Yeah. 
because I was gluing the the Legos onto the frames and they were falling off. Yeah. That actually fell off a frame. Oh, oh did we lose? Oh, no. There you go. Mm -hmm. It fell off. It was a uh, super glue and it fell off. And I tried, you know, the, everything else. I've tried the glue gun and then Gorilla Glue has worked the best. Warren. You know what I've seen? I If you go to um, the dollar store or any type of dollar store, sometimes they have those off-brand Legos. But I've seen that they have these sheets that they look like, like a base where you would build on top of. You know? Yeah. yeah for a buck or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the off-brand ones are, you know, I mean, they fit. These are off-brand. Let's see. Oh, those are dope. Yeah, those are actually glow-in-the-dark um, UV light, reactors. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But they're off-brand. Yeah, I know all about them, man. My little girl, yeah. I'm telling you. This, it would be dope to build again. But, uh, you know, I wouldn't want to glue them anymore because they're able to stand. Well, obviously, you know, I mean, they're Legos. So. Some of these stand. Yeah. Yeah, those mini Legos at, at Daiso. I, I work with those, too. Hell, yeah. Miniature at Legos, bro. Sets. Yeah. Or Legos, yeah, I'll, the, I'll, leave, I'll leave that to, to King Gonga, man. The king right there and shit. Yeah. I, I've seen... Um, I know for some people, they've never seen stuff like that. Well, I, I actually have, and I, they reach out to me or I reach out to them. But uh, at the time, you know, it was an experiment. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I need to get sponsored by Lego. Yeah. For real, right? Might as well, man. You go go to them places where uh like Lego Land. Do you guys have yeah. that over there? Yeah, in San Diego. And they're like Lego builders and shit, you know, you could get a job building Legos and it's Lego sets and shit. That's fucking Dude, dope. they have like drawers of uh you know, you know, uh, like a drawer for every color, for every size. But it'd be easy as fuck to do all this shit. I was looking <laughs> for a one certain piece in a bag of like Lego and yeah. So I spray paint them. I'm like, fuck it. I'm tired of looking for a little black one. I'm gonna spray paint that shit black. You know? Yeah. So. Any uh any uh any art goes uh regarding either that or your art or any anywhere as an artist, man. What are some of your art goals that you have, G? My goal right now is you know just to keep creating, bro. I mean, I I really have. Go, you know, yeah. live off of it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. To be able to do this shit all the time. Oh, yeah. I, th I, I think that's uh, any artist's goal. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're real about art, I think that's pretty much the, the main answer I get. Yeah. I mean, shirts and stickers and all that. I mean, it just comes with it, but to be able to do it full time, you know, for the long run, then yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what motivates you, man? Shit. Just wake, being able to wake up every day. Oh. You know, that's a blessing. Yeah. yeah. And, Take every day, you know, give the best you got. I like that's that. why, I mean, I, I wake up and whenever I put the pen to the paper, you know, it's got to be my best or nothing. I like that. Y'all listening? Are you, are you whack artists out there listening? <laughs> notes and shit? <laughs> and then, uh, evolve. For sure, man. 
See, kind of artist mm-hmm. that's his goal too, man. Save it the mm-hmm. hero. It's possible. It, it very possible, G. Mm-hmm. It's been proven by yeah. many artists. Is is since since you're that creative type, dude? Is there anything that you haven't done but want to do? Um, molding. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah. I tried it. You know, I didn't. I didn't. I had a good experience with it. The uh, the outcome wasn't what I what I wanted, but you know, just off one small project, I was able to kind of figure out what tools you need, you know, the patience and show. the methods, you know, stuff like that. That was cool. Kind of I'll definitely want to give it more. Oh, really? Con artist says notes taken. It's like, nah, you're not a whack one, con artist. I'm talking to the whack ones, the ones that 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 never try shit. I, I'm pretty sure we all come across those artist pages where they'll post some shit in January, and you won't see them again until like April. You know, yeah. with the same stuff. We say yeah, same shit. Yeah. I mean, shout out to them too, but you know. It, if you really want to get somewhere with it, I think I mean, you have to be an all-around player. No, for sure. What is some of the best advice that you have taken, man, when it comes to uh, to art in general? I have taken just the other day. Like, I was watching a, uh, some dudes live, mm-hmm. and um, he's, he was saying how when the artist tells you his story or breaks down his background for you through his art, um, you know, he's giving you all his answers pretty much. Everything that took him hours and years to figure out, he's giving it to you in a couple minutes. Yeah. I mean, just take it, take in as much info as you can. And um, even if you... Uh, even if you think you already know it, just just listen up. Yes, great. That, you know that's a great tip, man. Mm-hmm. I hear that. And don't you know? Just don't limit yourself. If you have an idea you want to bring to life, just do it. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Like, that reminds me of a quote I read today in the morning. It says, just because someone says it's impossible doesn't mean means that it's impossible to them, but not impossible to you. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. Just, just work at it, man. Uh, what about the name, man? King Gonga, man, because I'm pretty sure everybody loves uh, the, the origins of names and let it let 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 the world know where uh, where yours came from, how that came about. Well, it started with with my um, graffiti name, Gong, G O N G. Okay. And then when I started my my Instagram, like in 2013, trying to figure out a name. Obviously, Gong was taken. Um. And then my sister put King, um, or no, she put Gongo Smooth because I had my last name as Smooth at the time on Facebook. Okay. And then um, to try to make Gong sound like more Latino, I, I put Gonga, and then she put the King on. King Gonga. Damn. Yeah. And a star is born. It has a better ring to it. Yeah, it does. But it's based off of uh, you know Bob Marley's record label. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah. yeah, it was a big music wise. It was a big um, fuck. I don't remember what year it was. I think it was oh five. The mm-hmm. Welcome to Jamrock. Oh yeah, yeah, Damon. Mark. Yeah, so it was uh, these new new music to me at the time. You know, Junior Gong and. Then, yeah, dude, that 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 album, dude. That it's album fire. is fire, dude. 
Yeah. That album, I remember smoking blunts literally to the whole fucking album, dude. Mm -hmm. Literally, dude. That's man, and I got the original copy too. It's 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 somewhere I I I digitized everything, all my CDs. I always digitize them so I can have them in MP3 format. And then yeah. once I get the 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 the, uh, the originals, I put them bitches away, man. So that's stored in there. I know I got that. Hell yeah. Yeah, that, that was a good one at at the time. So listening to that, starting to draw graffiti, and the, the name of you know it's, everything just clicked. Man, I, I'm gonna throw you one right here, dude. If if King Longa had a fucking intro song, which one would it be? Oh shit! Because there, there's a song, there's a song by him too. Uh, it's called uh, "My Name's Junior Gone." Probably that one. All right. Oh yeah, I gotta write that one down, man. Too bad, uh, too bad, uh, uh, YouTube fucking strikes me. If not, I would be playing that shit in the background. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, it's it's a good one. And uh, welcome everybody uh, joining us right now. We got the homie King Wonga in the house. Make sure you guys are giving him a follow. Uh, shout out to all mm -hmm. of you guys who are made in here. I see Tips World as, as well. Con artist, uh, and yeah, a bunch of heavy hitters, man. So that's what's up. Oh, yeah. Good looking out, man. Thanks for tuning in and hope you enjoy. What is, um, you know what? It's, it's, it's about the halfway time. Uh, let's yeah. go into something I like to call Josh's tool. So this is all the right. part where we pretty much talk about the tools that you use. I know you showed us some Legos and stuff. But yeah, yeah. When when it comes down to like, if you got any traditional things that you go to, uh, let's talk about your digital. You know, what device, what app? I'm pretty sure all these people want to know. Yeah, so digital. Um, is my phone or my iPad? All right, all right. What iPad are you I, working with? I work with the. Uh, so I think it's the iPad Air. Or some, I don't really know. Okay. Just, yeah, so I, I do most of my shit on Procreate. Um, and then the Autodesk sketchbook on my phone. Um, as far as tools, I got these babies right here. This is really cool fucking tool. I, you know, put a lot of work in. Hmm. The adapters. Hell yeah. Yeah, the exacto knife as for as long as I've drawn it's been one of my favorite tools. Show for show. Yeah. Also see you got the white gel pen in there. Yeah, the jelly roll. Um I know that I've been Listening in, and I know there's better ones. Um, I've, I've tried those too, but I think the Jelly Roll is the one. That, that's your best friend. Hell yeah. Yeah. It's just been working with it for so long. And, um, before the digital, you know, I had to have one. Oh, word. Yeah. And uh, as far as your digital, we, we, we know you use the iPad. Um, what pen do you use, man? Um, I think it's the I don't know the difference between the first generation and the second. It's the round one, the rounded one. Legends. What about Josh? Josh for kicks. The rounded one. Yeah, it's the, I'm not sure. It's the rounded one, though. Word. I, I honestly on that I wouldn't know, man, because I know there's a couple. Uh, if anybody in the room could help out, but I know there's a couple of them. Uh, there's like a first generation pencil, second. I really don't know the difference on that. Mm -hmm. uh, when I had my Apple Pen, I used to uh, use uh, a Donit. It's, uh, this is the, the pencil, you know, has a couple couple quick buttons here. You charge it. USB, boom, 20 minutes, and you got hours of fun with this. 
Yeah. That's tight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what yeah. I did back then. Yeah, same here. Um, at the time, I just bought it. I was just anxious to have it. Oh. So I, I didn't even check. I checked the price only. Like, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Yeah, I was like, all right. <laughs> I wasn't going to take the cheapest one or the most expensive one. I was right in between. That's all. Smart yeah. man, smart man. Uh, and, and, oh, man, any other tools that you use, man, in your arsenal before we wrap this little segment up here? I know, but there's these that I just fucking started fucking around with. And I, I think um, somebody in here might know who it is, what it is, but um, you make the stamps with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I definitely know what is it. All right, cool. <laughs> Man, brother, what is it? Let me see if I got this shit here. I know it's somewhere around here. Oh, I know what tools you got, but damn, right there. Yeah. You know, make some stands, G. I, I got so I didn't know. I didn't even know I had them until, like, last week. Oh, shit. Because I did one, but I did it with the exacto knife, trying to, you know, um... I did all that with the exacto knife, and then last week I saw that I had those, and I was like, "Well, what the fuck, man?" You're like, "Wait, wait, wait, where are these little, where are these little gems mm -hmm. come from?" Yeah. So now it's back to work to those, you know. Show better tools. All right, Khan. Uh, there you go, and that was the winner of the hundred and uh, uh hundred show oh, the Khan artist. But yeah, get back to that, uh, Khan. Let us know what you think about that movie when you're done with it, man. And uh, yeah, we definitely got some stuff for y'all. Yeah, man. So that's that's my tool. Um, Sweet. Two to eight to draw on and canvases and wood panels. You name it, anything. For sure, man. I also seen that uh, partake in the uh, the dollars. You know? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's dope work. Dollar I haven't been able to do my own, but I do collect. Oh uh, work. Yeah. Oh. Big collector. Long that your stuff is awesome, says Josh for kicks. And Josh for looking out, man. Shout out to him. Yeah. All all these digital artists that uh, I learn off of, believe it or not, every day. Man, you know what? And I second that, dude. Uh, you, you guys. Uh, I say it. I say it all the time. You guys fucking inspire me. You know, it's like uh, it's like being in the gym. You know, when when you got homies that are working out with, you go in there, you see them pumping out. It's like, all right. It's like, all right. You could do, uh, you know, you could do sixty pounds or whatever. All right, put seventy on that bitch. You know. Yeah. And Something then, like that. You know, and then I was watching um, oh, I think it was him and. They're talking, but I'm just looking at what the digital artist is doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm still listening, but I'm instead of looking at what he's drawing, I'm looking to see how. How? The techniques yeah. he's using, the strokes and stuff with brushes. How he gets to that end. Yeah. Same. Same, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he uh, he goes on with uh, uh, Elijah. Uh, Pe he was on with Pez the other day as well. Um, and a few others, man. So make sure y'all check out Josh for Kicks. Oh, and he's having a uh, he's having a do do this in your art style for one of his characters called Caution. So if anybody mm -hmm. out there is a an artist and want to partake in that stuff, I, I think I'm gonna do it. I know I still have a few more days before the uh, the entry, the deadline. So I'm partaking that, Josh. Yeah, I'll check it out too, bro. Sweet. Uh. How do you handle haters? Um, to be honest, at first it does it it does kind of sting a bit, but it's like motivation at the end. Word. So all right, 
um, I'm not gonna, you know, say anything back or try to, you know. Yeah. But uh, to my own personal growth, um, like feel to fucking yeah, get better. I mean, I might yeah. think I get better, and he still they still don't like it. So it's just more like motivation. That's what's up. Shout out to them. Yep. <laughs> Oh, for real. Shout out to haters, man. If you got haters, yeah. you're doing something right. Yeah. No, for sure, man. Um, What's one of the hardest things you struggle with as an artist? As an artist, uh, you know, the, I'd say the backbone behind art, um, trying to do that shit sober. <laughs> <laughs> yeah to myself I, I know you don't need it but uh, I started like that yeah. you know you smoke a blunt and your creative juices are flowing I word then uh, I used to drink a lot so you know you're chilling you're enjoying a cup of beer you're drawing it's quicker to get in the mood sometimes and now uh, I've been sober for a minute, and uh, yeah, to sit here and for me it was something new. No word. Uh, sativa or indica? Uh, it's sativa for me. Yes, another sativa brother in the house. Yeah. Fuck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mhm. Mm uh, yeah, man. It's, I think it's that. I mean, I've been sober. I haven't had a drink for about five years. Congrats, G. That's so, perfect. thanks, man. So, during that transition and then keeping up with art, sativa really helped. <laughs> As uh, Gutter Bay says, what's the fun in that, Gonga? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, uh, um, yeah. Transitioning from, you know, being an alcoholic to not, and then sativa really helped me not to drink. Work. And then, as as soon as I stopped um, drinking and I started smoking sativa, that's where those frames came in. Mm, okay, there you go. Well, man, yeah. here, here's yeah. another five years, G. Yeah, it's been a good ride. No word. Um, now earlier we talked about as uh, we talked about you doing commissions and stuff like that. I mm -hmm. I love hearing about like um, commission nightmares, man. And have you ever had any? Yeah. Um. So the dude hit me up for two of those frames. He hit me up. Um, I did one first. I shot it. I gave it to him. He came to pick it up. That's cheap, bro. 25 bucks each one. Damn, that is cheap. Yeah, I did the second one. And then he, he just disappeared. He blocked me and everything. For, I didn't know why. Wow. Yeah, luckily, I found somebody with the same name. <laughs> shot <laughs> it to them. So... All right, yeah. Damn, there you go. Flip yeah. that shit. Yeah, I mean, it still works. Their names, everybody has. But uh, that those um, selling those frames for twenty five bucks, getting commission for very cheap work yeah. and uh, valuable stuff, it was hard. Yeah, that's a steal uh, right there. Making you're spending more than what you're making. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. And then all the time that involves in doing that, I'm pretty sure it's not it's not one of them processes where it's like, oh, let me just clip, 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 clip. There's, a yeah. lot. there's, there's some, it looks like there's some sort of, you know, thought process behind doing something like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I'd say about a good, uh, in total, a good day or so in complete, yeah. to complete one. Damn. What's up? Mm-hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, if anybody else is joining us, uh, we're talking to King Gonga. Um, you guys could find him here on the gram. Uh, and you said that's it, right? Exclusive to the gram? 
Yeah, for now. For now. So keep, keep tuned. Make sure you guys are hitting that little follow button next to his name. And uh, mm -hmm. definitely, definitely stay tuned. Go go dig all his art, man. I wish I said this as well, man. I wish sometimes Instagram would put like a like all button. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, I mean, they, they, there's an artist that it's like, you, you just want to like everything because everything's fire. So you're definitely mm -hmm. one of those artists, G. Thanks, man. Sure. Thanks a lot. Thanks, everybody who's been supporting. Oh, for sure. And who just started supporting. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Start, mm -hmm. man. Now, uh, let's open it up to, to questions from the audience. I know you guys have been asking some questions. Uh, also, there's a, you know what, before I forget, man, uh, there's also giveaways, right? So let's yeah. go ahead and uh, do a couple giveaways. I got a couple stickers. And uh, yeah. for any of you, I'm going to do a couple. I'm going to do... Uh, no, let's actually do this one. Do the stickers. Let's go and do the actual sketch pad. So I got a sketch card here. I'm giving away. The Iron Man. This was actually created uh, while I was talking with Ivan. He was doing an Iron Man. Inspired everybody on the uh, live to do Iron Man. So here it is. Nice Iron Man sketch card. It's actually a sticker, so you guys could peel this. Motion. Yeah, yeah, it's a sticker, and it's a hand dope. So, so that's dope. That's the dope part. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, what should we do, man? Should we play the, the the number game, or should we give a give the folks a a, a question? Down with the number game. Yeah. Down with the number game. All right. So let's go with uh, one of ten. Uh, pick a number. Don't say it. And uh, first person on the board to go ahead and guess that number. Definitely go for it. You got a number in mind from one to ten? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. And I know someone's going to say it. Someone's going to be like 13, you know, but. <laughs> so there you guys go, man. Uh, official. Sketch card slash sticker from the whole, from me, number one of ten. First one to guess it, y'all. And uh, as we keep an eye on that, let's go with some questions. Uh, we got Josh for kicks is asking, uh, how do you approach new projects? The thought process. The thought process is uh, freestyle. Oh, uh, word. It's freestyle and and um. Just flow out what comes to mind right away. That's seven. We got number nine. We got number four. Josh got it. Josh got it. Seven? Eight. Eight. There it is. Josh got it. <laughs> Shout out to Josh. Josh, I will be sending this out to you today, actually, so. I got a lot of sh stuff to ship, so you got it, man. Mm. Yeah, very free, freely thought process, you know. Mm. It's a lot of my work comes out like that. Okay. One second. I'm trying to get this mm -hmm. out. I've never painted custom toys. No, I've never painted. I'm down. I have one that I have to show you real quick. Let's see it. That's um my wedding ring. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's um Mala Leche. I did his. I did his um template with my colors and then I bought this off of him after so that that's gonna I'm waiting to get my colors right all right word yeah but that's you know that's in the works 
Yeah. Oh, that's dope. That was going to be sick. Oh, yeah, that's going to be sick. Is there anything uh, anything you want to add? Uh, anything that, that, that maybe you want to mention, talk about, shout out? Yeah. The, um, I'll first say that anybody wants to collab, you know, come my way. Um, everybody and anybody, any type of fucking digital art. For now, I'll collab with, you know, um, I'm collabing with a couple of people at the same time. You know, doing contests, stuff like that. Okay. Oh, and uh, you know what? It, it's awesome that you mentioned that, man. I It totally crossed my mind, and I had written it down, too. Um, You collab a lot, dude. You know? Yeah. That, that, that is dope, man. That's something that I think, as, a, as an artist, I think people should start doing more. It's a great... I think it's a great way to just get your name out a little bit more. And... Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it's always a nice, uh, uh, nice practice to see. You know how your style mixes with every other's, man. So, yeah, it, it was like a. Uh, how do you say it? It just felt like a. I got my my iPad, then it was the beginning of the lockdown, then then there was you know so many fucking collabs at the same time. Oh, just wow. trying to hop on as many many as I could. And then Michelle. after that, uh, sometimes I reach out to people or they reach out to me. That's what's up. Yeah. I haven't collabed it with anything digital. You know, right now it's just practice, practice, practice. And that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're dope. Um, and then for them seeing the, um, their stuff with my colors, you know, sometimes they get a kick out of it. So, I mean, it's been fun. Even, even like, non, like, traditional artists, I'll collab with them, too, and make their stuff digital so I can work with them. No, word. Yeah, it's fun, right? I mean, and then, like you said, um, your name gets out there. Cause now you have somebody sharing it in their stories or in mm -hmm. their feed. Your, your audience gets bigger. Yeah, word. Agree. Mm -hmm. Who's uh, who's your favorite of all time that you collab with? Um, shit, yeah, I don't have one bro, no, to be honest. Totally. Yeah, there's too many, too many okay. good ones. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah. people I've collabed with more than once. Okay. You know? Yeah. So I mean, two or three times, but no favorites yet. The show and uh let's see any any last uh any last questions from the audience anything y'all want to know now is the time to ask you know because because uh, we're about to uh hit that top of the hour here g yeah and as far as uh the color your favorite color man you mentioned that it was green mm -hmm. um Nate, give me three reasons uh, for 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 that, man, for liking green. Uh, one, well, I smoked a lot of trees. <laughs> um, yeah. Two, it, it just, you know, like nature-wise. And then three, I don't think you can see it, but my eyes are green. Okay. So I can match my eyes with anything green and Sometimes they change. They they tend to look lighter or darker. Sometimes. Yeah, low key, man. You, uh, my my father and my youngest brother. He actually, uh, they got your eyes, where they you look at it in a certain you you look at it up close. They're one color, and then like when some light hits them, it's a little brown. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Uh, that was cool, man. Like right now, I'll match. My headphones match the color of my eyes, and then my sweater. I got a couple hats that do. It's just I uh, usually rock with it, you know. I mean, you could you could you could let us know, man. If you got them contacts, you know, uh, where where it's all like uh, depending on your feelings. What's that? What's that thing? <laughs> oh, like the mood rings. Look, there you go, the mood rings. You got like <laughs> mood contacts in and shit. Yeah, something like that. 
the uh we got a couple questions uh the homie uh live with seven why are you such a cool person yeah i don't know man. uh just flows like that he's <laughs> <laughs> like ah it's just like that man. that's all it is yeah it's just like that and uh, he he's asking another one. He has, I'm a huge fan. How can I purchase your art? I think we talked about it, but I'll mm -hmm. go ahead and answer for you. Uh, def, uh, definitely give him a DM uh, at King underscore Gonga. So there you go. That's the best place to hit that up. Yeah. I'll have more stuff um, selling through my story. Word. More than my feed. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, and then, uh, Josh Rakes is asking, "How do you stay motivated to make art and uh, get get out of ruts? Get out of ruts, like ruts. Uh, meaning like the, the the block, like artist block. I I I think so. That's what it sounds mm -hmm. like. Uh, so when I'm in an artist block or a rut, whatever, um, I'm still still sketching." I'm still trying to produce. I'm on a very strict, like, mm. creating schedule. So when I'm not feeling it, I still try to push stuff out um, or go back to old stuff. That definitely helps. Something that you drew back then might still trigger your creativity now, and it's your own stuff. So what better way to, to motivate yourself with your own thing? Or well said, man. Well, uh, it looks like uh, we just hit that top of the hour, my friend. Uh, mm -hmm. King Gonga, thank you very much, dude, for joining us today, man. It's uh, it's fucking dope. It's always great talking to you guys. Uh, you know? Um, yeah, man. Thank you for having me, bro. So very blessed, man. And for sure, I'll, I'll probably see you uh, somewhere at nighttime, man. On the last yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, bro. That's what's up. Man. Seven cool. says, uh, yeah, that says, uh, what's your go-to food when you're creating? Probably, you know, Doritos. <laughs> so. Yeah, man. Hey, we ever get a chance, or I don't know if you have them out there, but the Mexican Doritos. Uh, Saboritas or whatever? No, nah, it's still Doritos. It's just uh, everything in the back, all the... Uh, nutrition stuff is in yeah. Spanish. <laughs> oh shit! No, I I haven't seen that yet. I haven't even noticed to be honest. But I'll, I'll keep I keep my eye out on that. Yeah, they're bomb. Yeah, I'm I'm sure they are. Stuff from like Mexico is a lot better. Like the coke out there is better, and I'm not talking about the the powder kind. <laughs> Probably too. Uh, Maybe you know. too. I don't know. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Well, thanks again, yeah, man. man. It's, it's, it was a fun, fun time, man. And uh, thank you, man, so much for, for joining us. Yeah, man. Thank you and thank everyone watching. Shout out to Seven, Gutter, Josh, and everyone else seeing with my stuff for the first time. That's what's up. And uh, yeah, man, shout out to, uh, I'll keep finishing the list. Uh, Arb Ivan Sandoval's in here. Mm -hmm. Notorious Pez is in the house. Uh, art by Grand Dale, Museum of Designer Toys, and uh, Gutter Baby, yeah. So, yeah, man, shout out to everyone. And everyone will see this after in the future. That's what's up. Exactly, exactly. Sure. Cool, Gonga. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, that's been an episode mm -hmm. 101 with the homie King Gonga in the house. Make sure y'all give him that that love, that, uh, that follow, if you guys ain't following already. And... Uh, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take Josh. I love what he said on his live. He's like, if you are following him, unfollow him and follow him again. <laughs> <laughs> that's Love hilarious. That's, All right, man. So that's what's up. And uh, yeah, guys, everybody else in the live, everybody else watching, uh, thank you guys for joining us. This is episode 101. Um, make sure you guys are checking out Monstrous Art Clan. Uh, we also have a dot com, MonstrousArtClan.com. Hit up uh, the homies there. Not only that, hit up uh, Livewood7. Check out the IGTV. Check out all the other episodes he has. 
Uh, we are going to have the homie Lost in Creative. That's right, me and Seven. We're going to be co-hosting, and we're going to have our guest live in Creative. I think that's happening by the summer, by the end of the month, so about a week left. Stay tuned for that. Check out our stories. Uh, check out Dead and Laughing, of course. And uh, make sure you guys are checking out therealzimzima.com, right? Uh, everything's up there. Got a bunch of merch originals and a bunch of uh, cool prints for y'all and that's it mm -hmm. love one another y'all know how to you know eh, y'all know the deal uh trust the process and uh go ahead uh mr gonga last words take us away no oh, man just uh thank you for watching and then you know, stay creative bro there it is we're mm -hmm. out guys peace